What's up, y'all? So I've been putting this video off for a while. Um, I haven't really been giving it too much attention. Um, you know, I, I rather promote the things that I love rather than bash the things that don't really resonate with I and I. However, I feel that this has been a reoccurring issue that has been um, very uh, prevalent throughout the entire uh, spiritual community. Um, I see it personally as an epidemic. It's a spiritual epidemic and a lot of wolf and sheep clothing in the spiritual community. So I just want to go ahead and someone has to say it because if Pedro ain't going to say it, who the fuck going to say it, you know? So I just want to go ahead and say that there is a fine difference between the sacred and the fake shit. It saddens me. It honestly saddens me and it aches my heart to see the youth of today still on their quest of searching to, 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 to find out what's really in the core. And they're searching in all these funny places and all this false laboratory, synthetic, funny shit. It, 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 it gets to a point where I'm just like, okay, I'll just pray for them on their path. Hopefully they find the medicine eventually. And, um... Now it's just gotten to a point where I even notice people who are uh, supposedly apparently in the medicine and they're still relating with this false Babylon trickery, this foolishness. And I'm just going to go ahead and straight up say it. I'm talking about acid. I'm talking about MDMA and Molly and all this fuck shit. And I, and I talk from personal experience i'm not just talking out my ass i'm talking from personal experience because i've dropped 10 strips at a time like if, if, if i looked in the mirror my face wasn't melting i wasn't tripping so i've i've been there i've been down that fucking rabbit hole i know <laughs> what that what, what, where that that rabbit hole leads <laughs> and it's so sad to see that so many people still drowning in there still being tricked and still searching in, in all these um desolate places you know and uh, I just want to go ahead and share this prayer globally, publicly with the whole community, praying for all our relatives to remember what our ancestors left us, what is truly sacred, organic, straight from Pachamama. Not that it has to go through a fucking laboratory and you have to use $40,000 of fucking equipment to reach spiritual enlightenment and fulfillment and tranquility and peace and all this shit that people searching for. I just want to say, I'm not saying, oh, this is the way, this is the only way. Like, I'm not, I'm not speaking in absolutes. All I'm saying is that I pray that all my relatives who are still searching and seeking, that they may go to the source and they may remember that Pachamama already gives us everything that we need. We don't need to rearrange all these atoms and try to play creator and try to outsmart Ja. We can't think of anything that she hasn't already thought of so it's time we stop playing god and still stop trying to create all these other substances trying to outsmart all the tools that have already been provided for i and i so i just want to go ahead and vote for the green i want to vote for the sacred the organic the heirloom the ancestral you dig what i'm on say so keep it real, yo. Keep it real, please. Aho. Mitaku Yasin. To all my relations. All my relations. And, and yeah, and I just want to go ahead and say, people say, oh, but everything is sacred. It's all sacred. Yeah, it's all sacred. Yeah, the elements are there, sure. But that's not the arrangement of the atoms that our ancestors left it to us. Our ancestors left us just the essential. Everything we need. Nothing more, nothing less. So let's honor that. Aho. Yo, buenos dias. So, of course, usually later when I think of what I said, I'm like, oh, I could have said that. I could have said this. So I just want to do a little follow-up video of a couple things that have, have uh, come up since uh, I posted that last video regarding um, distinguishing the real from the artificial. And so... Uh, I just want to go ahead and say that, you know, 
when I was on the, the path of drugs, um, I reached a certain plateau of, uh, of discovery, of novelty, if you will. Um, you know, it's like, okay, the chair is shrinking, the roof is morphing, the walls are breathing, but then it's like, okay, now what? <laughs> like, you know, it gets to a point where it's just like, okay, like, there's nothing really new. And so that's one of the main differences when we're discussing sacred medicine and we're discussing, um, which is not even in the same category, um, all that other phony um, stuff. And so, you know, people come up to me and they ask me, you know, uh, Pedro, you know, what's the difference between, uh, or how would you compare uh, peyote to uh ls or whatever this i'm like i'm like the first thing i tell them is first of all is that peyote is not a drug that's the first thing i make crystal clear so that in their mind in their western mind and their white man's perspective way of viewing things they 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 disconnect that that's in the same category <clears throat> and so that's the difference with, with sacred medicines is that it's always a good time to eat more medicine. Always a good time because there's always more to heal, more to grow, more to learn. So there's always that novelty. There's always something new to look forward to. And yeah, I just wanted to specify that um, and, and, and make that a very clear note of, uh, of, of my stance and uh, defending the sacred, so I uh hope. -oh.